What's up guys? Welcome to AJ TV today. Okay, just in. Atiku replies to Buari Ainek. Insist polls figures not false. Okay. Before I go into analyzing these, please, if this is your first time in AJ TV, please hit the red subscribe button below. Okay, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party at the recently conducted general elections, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, and his party yesterday insist that the final results, as declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, where those transmitted online to INEC's website, www.inecnigeria.org, in a reply dated April 15 and filed the same day at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, holding at the Court of Appeal. Atiku and PDP held that information, data, documents, footage, images, and photographs, which they are relying on, are products of INEC and are not false, skewed, suborned, or spurious as alleged by the commission. They stated that they, in, they visited the said website on several dates, one of these being Friday, April 12th at 4.58 p.m. The petitioners also pleaded and relied on the, same, on the said final result as published by INEC on its website. They, they describe INEC's pleading in paragraph 10 of its reply as false and intended to conceal serious infrac infractions, irregularities, and malpractice committed by INEC and its official. They held that, contrary to the denial of the first respondent, INEC, in its reply to the early petition, the table containing votes of candidates are not a conjecture. They said it was rather the result of the acts of INEC, INEC officials who complied with its directives and training instructions on electronic transmission of votes as evidence in training manual on election technologies and printout of votes of candidates from smart card reader machines. They said further that the servers from which the said figures were derived belong to INEC. The figures and votes were transmitted to INEC's presidential resort server 1 and thereafter aggregated in INEC Press RSLT SROV 2019. Responding to the allegation made by the spokesperson of President Buhari, first to Keyamo, that it was Atiku who smuggled the data onto the server. The petitioners urged the security agencies and Buhari to produce the evidence at that hearing in court. Atiku and his party had on March 18 filed a petition before the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal challenging the declaration of Buhari and the APC as winners of the presidential poll. The petitioners claimed that contrary to INEC's declaration, the PDP candidate was the authentic winner of the election. The petition number CAPEPC002-2019 which sought to rely on 50 sets of documents document, as INEC, President Muhammad Buhari, and the APC as first to third respondents. INEC had on February 27 declared that Buhari won the election with 15,191,847 votes, defeating Atiku, whom it said polled 11,262,978 votes. But Atiku and PDP stated in their 139 page petition that from the data in the first respondent server, the true actual and correct result from state to state computation showed that Abu Bakr polled a total of 18,356,732 votes to defeat Buari, whom they said scored 16,741,430 votes. According to them, the results were the total votes scored by the candidates in 35 states and the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, as there was no report on server about the results from River States as of February 25th, but in a pre preliminary objection in response to the petition, INEC through his lead counsel, Yunus Usman Sam, 
stated that the results of the poll were never transmitted or collected electronically. It added that it kept no such server where such electronically transmitted results could have been obtained. Thank you for watching AJTV. This is a very interesting matter. Please, guys, leave a comment down below. Also, if you are new to this platform, hit the red subscribe button. Do you think this data that article brought they are real they are correct do you think it was an inflated value by article or the pdp do you think they are saying the truth please leave your opinion in this uh, in the comment section below thank you for watching ajtv peace out